So this lady's actually crawling through with this basket uh, through the reeds. Xin chào. <laughs> um, and she's and and she she's got the basket, the big basket underneath the reeds, and then she shakes the reeds, shakes off the uh, off the snails and the little crabs, and uh, and then uh, and then pulls the basket out from underneath the reeds, empties it out, puts it back underneath the next lot. <laughs> See that? <laughs> um, so it, it's just amazing here. Uh, this is just a, a literally a drain on the side of the road, and uh, so you got the rice fields on this side and and that. Um, but but somebody will be just going through getting food out of the drain. Um, uh, <coughs> yeah. And and those snails, they actually sell for a fair bit at the market. Um, uh, and see how it just shakes the reeds above the basket and and then uh, lifts it up, gets the snails. <laughs> tick, tick, come on, come on. Uh, and little fish. They actually have these little crabs that live in the rice fields too, called a, a village crab. <laughs> Yeah, and she didn't take all the snails either, no, so she must take, take the, leave the little ones there. Yeah. Hey, mm. yep, yep. Right. There you go. <laughs> just, just another thing in Vietnam that you see that's interesting. Um, and, uh, and me and my mum are going out to the family's house for dinner. Um, hopefully, we're not eating snails out of the drain. Um, um, but you know, they've they've been on the menu before, so they could be. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> yep. well, uh, uh, I was just lucky we didn't have snails for lunch. <laughs> this is Mum's house. Yeah, it's raining. Ah, g'day. <clears throat> Peter here. Um, out in Hoizong again in um, Pepperoni's um, Pizza Restaurant. And, and it's a pizza restaurant, but it's actually they make uh, ribs, they make uh, pasta, pizza, um, uh, salads, really good salads actually. And, uh, and they also do a calamari dish. Now, if you're in Hoizong, value for money. Uh, this isn't a, a touristy place as such. It's all Western food. They even got a salmon steak. Um, but like a salmon steak is about $10 here, which is pretty good even even in Western standards, but the quality of it is really good. Um, uh, I've just ordered some calamari, so that's my calamari and, um, and sauce there with a the lettuce leaf. You know, quite, quite good uh, quality, it's crispy. Mm. Very nice. Um, not too chewy. <clears throat> but it's real calamari, not um, not not the uh, processed stuff that just looks like calamari or or, or whatever. That, you know the ones that they sell in the supermarkets that are frozen. It's not that. And um, and I've got some pumpkin soup, and the pumpkin soup is is delicious. And they put put cream on the top, and they give you some garlic bread, and <clears throat> and like I said, the standard is just quite high. And because they've used a breadstick for the bread, um, the breadsticks, it's funny, like almost all the bread you buy in Vietnam has got sugar in it. But the breadsticks don't have sugar in them. So, um, so it actually tastes the way it's supposed to taste. Um, uh, oftentimes they'll put bread with something like this and, and the bread's got sugar in it. So it looks like it, it tastes like eating dessert. You know, it's got that much sugar in it. Um, but with the breadstick, it's actually quite nice butter on it and, and garlic and um, another thing I've ordered is uh, a mango smoothie and, and again top quality and they've actually <coughs> made that with some kind of yogurt and it's really good now price wise um, let me just double check as soon as I um, didn't look at before but yeah so the pumpkin soup um, so this pumpkin soup 
was uh, 30,000 BND, which is just under $2 Australian. But the uh, calamari rings are uh, 69,000 BND. And so, what's that? Uh, about $4 Australian. Uh, <coughs> and the, um, and the uh, mango smoothie, let me just flick through the section for the smoothies. They got hamburgers here too, and milkshakes, all sorts of things, um, like big ice creams. Uh, so yeah, the mango smoothie was forty thousand. So uh, what's that? About two dollars and a bit. So so for lunch, um, four, five, six, eight dollars or something, um, and I've got a really good, good, uh, good lunch. And quality-wise, the restaurant's clean. Um, uh, you know the staff are polite, and the meal comes out quick. Uh, I've, you know, it, it's it's a lot of locals come here, and I know why. Now, <coughs> out of all the restaurants in Hoizong, there's only one other restaurant that I'd recommend that's got a similar kind of Western standard towards the food, um, and that's another pizza place. Funny enough, uh, but this one here and that one are both really high standard. Uh, and uh, but this one here is a, a bit cheaper for their food, um, whereas whereas he's probably a bit higher quality on his ingredients. Anyway, uh, if that helps anybody, if you're in Hai Zong or if you're just looking at what you can buy in in Vietnam for for eight dollars, uh, and whether you can get some some good you know Western food, like uh, I, I'm really used to eating Vietnamese food now, or a lot more used to it. But every now and again, I really like the flavours of home. So so pumpkin soup, some calamari, and, and a mango milk smoothie uh, um, just hits the spot. All right, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, uh, if, you, if you are here, uh, this is uh, Pepperoni's Pizza House.